Hello, this is LJ Boffo, and this video will give us just a few tips on troubleshooting in your operating system. This is designed for the Microsoft Windows operating system, but likely a Mac operating system, Linux operating system will have some sort of variant that you can look for and find um, to use. In this case, what we're going to do is we're going to go to the Windows control panel which you can get to using your Windows Start key, Search, Control Panel. We've seen this before if you uh, were with me in another video about the Control Panel and some just basic uh, operating system utilities. But in this case, what we want to do is just look at a couple of the options you have for troubleshooting basic stuff without actually having to use an external service or application that you can get for free or low cost. So in this case, we're going to type troubleshooting, assuming I could spell properly, in the upper right hand search bar and then click troubleshooting. And Microsoft Windows will give you several different things that you can look at for basic computer problems. So maybe your sound is cutting in and out and you're not sure why. It could be the tool that you're using like Discord or Zoom. It could be something going on with your actual device. The troubleshooter may help you be able to locate that kind of problem that would fall under hardware and sound or maybe a problem with connecting to a printer that you know that you're connected to. It may be that your Wi-Fi is down and you're not absolutely certain whether it's because something is changed on your computer as opposed to, say, Xfinity being down. This can help you try to identify that problem. Same thing with some security uh, issues, system securities. If you're having a Windows update issue or you want to run a basic maintenance task, that sort of thing. So in the troubleshoot computer problems, there's also security and maintenance uh, listed down here on the lower left, help and support, which will take you to the web so that you can ask Microsoft for some information there and recovery information. But let's take a look at this. Programs gives you the opportunity to troubleshoot problems with different programs and performance. We won't run any of these. I just wanted to show you what some of them are. And then clicking the back key, come over here, take a look at hardware and sound. Same thing, you'll get a whole variety of problems that you could troubleshoot. So if you're having problems with printing, if you're having problems with your Bluetooth, if the keyboard is glitching a little bit, you might want to find out through this first if there's something basic in the operating system that has changed. Sometimes it may be that you need to run an update or that there's a driver that needs to be updated and a driver tends to be a little program that basically your hardware will need to have updated once in a while as the equipment manufacturer makes changes and additions and adjustments to the core programming that goes with say the keyboard or the uh, microphone in order to make it more efficient. But anyway, this is where the troubleshooting hardware and sound takes you. Click the back button again, network and internet. We'll have a few things here that you could check to find out if your network adapter is actually working properly and not being um, affected from an outside source. And you can also take a look at system and security so that you could find out if there's some systems maintenance things that you could do. We'll maybe take a look at that in a moment where you could take a Windows uh, look at Windows Update. Um, so for instance, if you have Windows, there are regular updates that will come out. You can schedule them, you can take them as you receive them, and sometimes you may get an update where it looks like it's not updating properly, it's not finishing the process, so you can go in here and take a look for that. And you can also take a look at your computer's power settings. In fact, let's take a look at this right now. We're not actually troubleshooting, but it's as good a time as any to take a look. Nope, that actually is a troubleshooter, so we don't want to go into that. We'll look at that in a different video then. Anyway, so this can help you with that. Let's go back here again. Let's take a look at security and maintenance. This gives you a chance to look at drop downs for things that you can make adjustments to in your computers. What is your network firewall? What is your virus protection if you're using the Windows virus protection instead of an external service like Avast or McAfee or Norton? Uh, what your internet security settings are, your user control panel. You can collapse this again and you can look at some uh, maintenance 
possibilities. So for instance, what if you want to refresh your PC without affecting your files? Or if you want to reset it and start over, you can actually reset your PC to the factory settings. If it turns out that something has gone on, you love your computer, but something has happened and you don't know what, you want to make sure that you will have backed up all of your files on a source off of your computer, like in an external hard drive, a USB flash drive, and external cloud storage service before you do a computer recovery, but you can't do that. So that's just a few things that you could do regarding troubleshooting in here. Go back to the control panel and that should be it. Thanks very much.